You know, sometimes what, what we struggle in church, especially in a service like this, is you leave church fired up, and it took the preacher and the worshippers to war and war and war to take you off to, to remove your burdens. Then you go home. When you get home, it becomes difficult for you. You start doing rubbish, watching nonsense entangling yourself with demons of different visuals words you start listening to nonsense and each time you open your doors your spiritual gates and doors to this spirits anger strive nonsense videos and connections and uh, emotions and uh, sexuals and all of this nonsense burdens start increasing your ascension is limited you are capacity to, to to penetrate realms is reduced and then you come back to the church with burdens defeated tired full of guilt because that man was sleeping with you touching you you messed up with anger anger is anger 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 you watch nonsense you open the gates of your eyes to see things you shouldn't have seen you listen to things you, so you all your gates of senses were vulnerable then your your heart is full of of of, of nonsense so you come to church again putting burdens on pastor pastor would have to move push push singers would have to drag pray pray and they will be taken off your demons Then you return back to norm. See that? That's the problem of believers. Then you go again. You recycle again. That's why you never ascend. Because consistency of spirit and sanctification for a long period lifts the burdens the weight of your shoulders and gives you the capacity to ascend one ascension of the spirit clears your doubts empowers your spirit sets you on the pinnacle of the mountains of God to receive the very word of God See, when the word of God is wielded to a man, that word is engrafted. That word becomes part of who you are. No man receives the word of God from the Bible. What you receive is the commandments of God in the Bible. The word of God is received in the realms of incarnation. The word is received in the reign of encounters. No man becomes what God wants him to be without encountering the God of the gifts. Beyond the gifts is an encounter with the God of the gifts. And there is a principle that precedes a principle that must precede encounters. That principle is discerning the deep things of God, observing the dimensions that require your increase in your love for God. God will not give you heavenly things without validating your intense passionate love for him the things of the spirit belong to his lovers and loving god takes a high level of commitment to his values and principles it, you, you don't come here to say I want to see encounters God will not give you that encounter Jesus is enough 
salvation is enough is given by grace salvation comes through the transportation of grace so it is unmerited favor but encounter comes through the laws of merit encounter comes through the laws of merit encounter is the capacity to teleport into the realms of the deep where the Holy Spirit has stored up searched out the deep things of God for the lovers of God New York USA it's time for dimensions and realms with the bond servant of Christ John dates 23rd through 25th May 2024 Thursday 7 p.m. Friday 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Saturday 9 a.m. Venue, Joseph A. Floriano Rochester Convention Center, 123 East Main Street, New York, 14604. Tickets are free for all. Come and receive freely from God. There is no cost charge to receive prayer or to consult the man of God. The conference is free.